They're definitely the unsung heroes of early 20th century medical illustration. The Atlas is now in its, is it in its 13th? 14th. 14th edition. Almost all of these drawers here are the original illustrations for Grant's Atlas, and there are over a thousand of them, uh, ultimately. So the first edition was published in two volumes as it was finished in 1943. Grant's Atlas was uh, initially illustrated by Dorothy Foster Chubb. Dorothy Chubb's work, it's really beautifully observed, really strong sense of a light source, very visually distinctive. I can recognize it immediately, maybe that's because I know the field and I've seen her work so much. It was not very common for women to enter medical school during that time, but also I think it was a career that uh, afforded women the luxury of also being able to have a family and raise children because they weren't, you know, in the surgical theater around the clock. These women were pioneers and they really uh, were way ahead of their time. And certainly with this profession in Canada, it, the way was paved by women and has been largely dominated by, by women who have been leaders in the field in this country.